Hello friends, first of all I will introduce myself. My name is Nikhil. Today's date is 29th of August 2022. Uh, today's topic name is Life, so life Cycle of Object. Uh, object also has, has a life cycle means it is also like a human. It has three, three steps. First is uh, initialization means, means when it is born. Second is uh, uh, completion of task man, means when it, is, it lives. And third is uh, completion of task man, when, when it is dies. Then it is a seven step process. We will see it one by one. First is uh, creation of dot class file in, uh, on disk. Uh, in ja when we run a Java program on JVM, that JVM converts a Java code into converts Java code into byte byte code, which is platform independent and byte, uh, platform independent and machine independent. And this code, this class file is stored into uh, that disk. Second step is uh, loading of class file into memory. The loading of class file into memory is done by class loader in Java. Uh, and uh, it is uh, read by Java, Java runtime. Third is uh, third step is looking for static member. What is static member? Static member is nothing but static members of uh, static block of uh, class, uh, static block present in class, uh, static method present in class, or static variable present in class. Uh, uh, static uh, the keyword static means uh, no object is required. It is present between its uh, the only one copy is present in a class that is stayed among all the instances of a class. Uh, next step is uh, uh, look. Uh, the class can be in initialized into two ways. First is uh, by creating objects and without creating objects. For example, when we run a main method, it does not require an object because it is a stat uh, static keyword is uh, assigned before a main method, so we do not uh, require to create. So we do not uh, require an object. To call that class. Uh, second is, uh, second is uh, instance object. Means if the method is not static, we will require uh, to write the object name before its class. And uh, object is uh, shared among uh, all uh, and instance static is shared among all instance of a class. Uh, next point is uh, allocation of memory allocation of memory in cl dot class file first uh, java jvm allocates the memory jvm allocates the memory to uh, objects into heap and uh, reference variable into stack next is uh, call, uh, creating calling a constructor constructor is uh, nothing but same uh, method but it has the uh, same special task special task of initialization of object special task of initialization of object. Uh, constructor is called only once when object is created. Uh, in this phase only the object lives its life uh, by, uh, by providing the, by completing or by checking the task present in the class file. And the last point is uh, by uh, removing the reference variable. For example, uh, removing the reference variable means once the all task is completed of that object, the object uh, is removed by or object is died. The if the removing of object is done by JVM, we can't do it manually. Uh, and how does JVM do remove the object? Uh, by calling Java runtime calls the Java uh, garbage collector and it that removed object is stored in it. So that uh, the life of the object is over here. So we have seen the uh, initialization of object, uh, living of object, and uh, end of object. We will I will explain one uh, another example through, through it. Uh, for example, I am creating a object of my, my class. My class object is reference variable name is C. Then next second reference variable is name is this D. Means both are showing both class. Both objects are a copy of same class. Uh, if I am writing C equal to D means uh, this copy is copied into C means this object all the reference uh, references going to that class is copied into C. Uh, that class is copied into C. Um, that uh, and but C C is overridden. C is reference variable is overridden and D is D is thank you. This is all.